What's going on guys? So I've been asked many times since I'm such a big fan of Club Dinoe Intense Man, the limited edition parfum, and I just rave about it so much, do I still enjoy the original Eau de Toilette, Club Dinoe Intense Man? Well, believe it or not, I actually do. It's my scent of the day today. I randomly sprayed it on my arm last night and decided, hey, I definitely need to wear this tomorrow. And I want to touch base with you guys on a few reasons why I think even now, late 2022, going into the turn of the new year, that this is still worth it. In that $30 range that you can buy it for, it's still a damn good fragrance. Stay tuned. <laughs> So the age-old issue that people have with this fragrance is the harsh synthetic top note, the opening. And it is a beautiful lemon smell as well. Might as well give myself a nice spray on the forearm. I have three around the neck and then one on my chest right now. So I have room on my arms to spray a little bit. It's just, I've never been bothered by the harshness of the top note on the original Eau de Toilette. This bottle is like 2018, 2019, something like that. I don't remember exactly, uh, but it's a not so new, but also not a silver stem atomizer, old school bottle of it either, uh, but it's pretty damn strong. And you do get a lot of that tart, kind of sharp lemon at the top. With Eau de Toilette, it's where it's its sharpest. Then you get a lot of this fruity, just bitter black currant juiciness heavy heavy dose of smokiness i've said it before i'll say it again this is still smoky magic this stuff is amazing i know there's some people that think it smells too cheap and they can't stand it and look there's that crowd for every fragrance some people swear by this stuff i can see this as a great everyday wear for anybody still it's one of the best bang for your buck fragrances with pretty much all the versatility you could want, in my personal opinion, for my taste. It's extremely masculine. The performance is top tier on this still. This is the loudest of all of the versions of Club Dinoe Intense Man. If you want the biggest attention getter, the original Eau de Toilette is still the way to go. It's the lightest oil concentration. Ergo, it's the most bright and volatile in its top note. Projection is at its heaviest with this one, especially if you're the moderate to heavy spray and type, you'll fill a room with this fragrance. Longevity is there, even though it's an eau de toilette, I always get 10 to 12 hours on my skin with this fragrance. The sillage is decent, not overwhelmingly dense cloud, but it will linger a little bit when you walk away. You'll have a nice little trail going. Even though, I kind of swear by this one, if you want to spend the extra money, because it's pretty much double the price of the original to get the limited edition parfum, I do think it's a superior fragrance. I think it's richer, deeper, smoother overall. It's a better fragrance across the board. You do sacrifice a little bit of projection. Like I said, this is the best projector, but you don't sacrifice the longevity and the sillage is actually a little bit better because the oil concentration is a little bit higher. So it's a denser cloud that will linger and your trail will be a little bit thicker versus the Eau de Toilette, but not a huge difference as far as your sillage. Like I said, this just is smoother overall. I do think it smells better. It's worth the extra 30 bucks in my opinion, but you're just fine with this one. Even now, like I said, late 2022, going into 2023, this fragrance has been around for many years at this point. It's been talked about to death on so many channels, on so many social media outlets across IG, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, you name it. It's extremely popular and extremely polarizing. And I'm here to tell you from my standpoint, I still think it's one of the best bang for your buck fragrances money can buy. So yes, absolutely. I still love this fragrance. I still have a ton of love for this fragrance. And I still recommend you guys at least give it a try once just to see if it's for you. Well, that's my updated thoughts here in late 2022 on Club Dinoe Intense Man, the Eau de Toilette. Actually, my current scent of the day. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. So I do appreciate all the feedback, and I love hearing from you guys. What do you guys think about this one? Do you still think it's a good fragrance? Was it, was it never for you? Do you hate this fragrance? There's a lot of people out there that can't stand this fragrance. I get it, but there's also a ton of people that swear by it. I don't necessarily swear by it, but I'm an advocate for it. I think this is some really, really good stuff. Even today, even with the fact being that I prefer the limited edition parfum, I'm happy to have both, to be honest with you. I wear both. And until next time, I will say if you get a chance on either one, really, but especially the Eau de Toilette. You give it a spray now, you might end up thanking me later. Have a good one, guys.